Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. You know, facade, but then you got some. You, you can easily wind up with a near 12 inch jam, you know, or, oh, God, or yes. a reveal where you have a door. Why is it that it's like so difficult? I mean, even if it's a new closer, forget about matching this closer to the existing uh, arm to the existing closer. Why is it so hard to get? Because I think in one of your emails you said you talk, you're going to talk to someone about making a custom one. Uh, yeah, that's that ooh. closer that I quoted you, assuming you got that email. That's a special template. That is a arm that's fabricated for that 8 to 11 inch reveal range. And your question is, you know, you end up doing cement block walls, and then you've got all kinds of other stuff that goes into a typical wall section. And by the time you're done, you got a wall that's 12 inch thick. And a jam. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Well, you, you, you know, so I just did, I just supplied an automatic door operator. It was a year ago, but we had a 20 inch reveal, you know, a building in Chicago built in 18, you know, whatever, 90, you know, the, the, that first floor, you know, on that three story building, it's 18 inches thick. Well, you had to have automatic operators for handicap compliance. And my it, my inst my customer two customers I sold the material to to client A the developer and then I'm like hey Matt this other customer of mine who's an integrator these guys need help you're in Chicago go help him and he had to have a custom plate made and we literally had a custom arm made for that 20 inch reveal now yeah. having said all that there's another easier way to do this we don't have to have a top jam you could literally do a uh, in Europe this same dark stained wood application. You're going to use yeah. a closer body mounted to the face of the door. Then you're going to have a track that's mounted to the underside of the header. You're done. We don't need to do top jam with giant long ass arms. The It's a six half dozen the other though in terms of the cost. And I like the top jam because you're, because the the amount that the door swings open when you are parallel arm mounting something, you only get like a like a half of a 0.5 multiplier in rotation of the spindle of the closer. But when you top jam, for every inch that the door swings open, you get direct rotation of its spindle. So you are maximizing the entire, the closer's ability to fully compress a spring rather than just compressing it two thirds of the way. So that's why I don't like that parallel arm. Your top jam is cool. Um, it might be less elegant looking, you know, you got this mm -hmm. huge arm, but it's more efficient mechanically. So that's why I like those. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you're right. You would think this comes up all the time. It, it, it does come up occasionally. Um, just, it comes up enough for me to know it and then forget it. And then someone calls and say, I need this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what was that special template number? It's a special template is just a, the part number that the factory pulls their file out and says, ah, top jam, 8 to 11 inch reveal. This is what we need. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, it can't be an anomaly. I mean, why is it that out of all of the closures, the manufacturers and and everything, you can't get a uh, an arm that's that's that long, you know? Well, you can. It's just they're they're just not kept on the shelf. You don't bump into those. People are doing parallel arm. You know what I mean? They're out swing doors. You know they're they're doing parallel arm. They're not even. No one does top jam. The aluminum storefront guys do top jam because it's cheaper and I and it does work better. But you know, no one's no one's doing it the way that that you've inherited. They're, they, people would parallel arm mount that and be done with it. Yeah. So your recommendation is. The only other thing is that I'm just, it's going to look weird with the other door, you know, having yeah. a different, totally different, and I don't think they're going to go for that, to be honest with you. You know, totally, you know, the one that's working, you know, the one that I got all the measurements on the, you know, 20-inch arm and everything, and it's all connected. 
Um, but maybe I'll go over there and get a picture of the uh, uh, of that label. I'll take the cover off and see what that li- what you see there, that little white label underneath there. Yeah, that, that, that might help you, right? Well, you know, you're now faced with buying two new closers, possibly. No, um, no, 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 no. I'm saying you want to see what that label says so that maybe you can hopefully get an arm to replace, you know, the the one that's missing. Absolutely. Right? And the, and the, re, the payoff for doing that is because the, the alternative solution is to not solve the client's problem without buying two new closers. Right. For that open, right. so they match. Yeah, it's worth it. I mean, well, I would think to your client it's worth it. Yes. Okay. All right. Let me let me go over there. Um, did you ever find the? All right, that's that door. The third door was the one with the that's missing the closer and everything. It's another Thermatrue door, and it's the operator door, but it has a two and a quarter inch shoe. Were you able to get? Oh, by the way, did you get the? Uh, the picture, I, the photo I sent you. Um. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a yeah, that's, that's, a tall, that's, head, 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 that's a tall enough head molding for. Yeah, um, you're. You betcha. That's yeah. That casing is plenty tall enough. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. So we don't need a, we, we don't need a drop mount for that. So. So back to the, the what I was just starting to say, the third door, which is a thermature door, and it has nothing on it now. All it has is a plate on the door itself, and but that's the two and a quarter inch spacing uh, uh, on that center to center. So were you able to find anything that would work for that door? You, I thought you just said the thermature was inch and three quarter. One of them is, and then the other oh. one. Oh, well, yeah, two. I sent, I, I sent. Yeah, one of the one of the there are two thermo two door units openings, two separate doors. One of them we already finished. You're gonna, yeah. You got me an arm for that replacement. That's the one that has the label and everything, right? Yeah, I um the other one. I have a thermo two door, <clears throat> same plate as the other door, except it's not one and three quarter inch shoe. It's two and a quarter. And it's missing the entire thing. There's nothing there. There's no closer. There's no arm. There's no shoe. There's nothing. All there is is the plate on the door. And that plate, center to center, is two and a quarter. Yeah. I, um. So do you, and, and, and by the way, that's a ten and a half inch reveal. I sent a picture of that. It's, it's a little bit less. It's about an inch or so less than the wooden. Uh, door with the wooden reveal, yeah, with the uh, with the, like the eleven and a half inch reveal. Um, so this is a ten and a half inch reveal, and it has um, a thermature door with a plate on it, and it's the the bolts are two and a quarter apart. Had had you not searched for that yet, or can you? I. Um... I, it didn't occur to me that that was a third opening. Um, so generally, you'll find a larger footprint when you have a hold open function. But as I'm looking at the hold open function, I don't see a shoe center to center of two and a quarter. Um, it's, where where do you think that you don't see it in in the in the closures that I'm looking at, the, all the templates that I'm looking at. Oh, you know, oh, okay. as I said earlier, there's you know I could. You and I could name two dozen people that names are associated with closers. It would be, you know, impossible to really know. I'm gonna. I would say I'm not able to find one that's two and a quarter. And if it obviously exists, those holes were there for a reason. And I'm gonna say yeah. you'll. You're gonna need to drill one new hole. You're gonna need to move that over, or or just get two new plates. Yeah, the problem is that the holes are through the door already. The holes are through the plates. Um, I got to see what I can do. Uh, the plate doesn't look. I got to go over there and measure, see if I can use an existing hole, put a second hole at an inch and three quarters. So let me let me see what I can do with that. I'm going to have to call you back 
with the photo of that label with the 28 inch arm with the one that's existing. Yeah. And then take a look and see if I can get a somehow get a, a shoe for an inch and three quarters on that on that plate. I'm gonna have to drive over there again. Well, inch and three quarters is okay. It's the two and a quarter one that's a problem. Well, yeah, I'll get it's the two and a quarter. See if I can get an inch and three quarter shoe on that plate. That that oh yes, real yeah. two and a quarter. Yeah, and and then the other thing to mention is the closer. Yeah, okay. So for right now, let's leave it at that. Um, okay. We'll, we'll leave right. it at that. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can find on that label that you pointed out, you noticed in that picture that you sent me. I'm going to see if I can get that cover off. I will get that cover off, and I'll see if there's anything on that label, and I'll send, I'll call you back. It's not going to be too long from now. And uh, and we'll – you take lunch? Uh, it's almost uh, – it's after 11. <laughs> I – yeah. That's yeah. – I think I took a lunch in – 1990, maybe December oh, okay. 12th. Yeah, I'm at I'm my sure desk. You, it was a good one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was you know enjoy you know last time. Yeah, COVID sent me home for a couple of hours with uh I, I hit with the um the second shot. Yeah. I had to go home and lay down. But other than that, okay. I don't leave work. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, okay, Richard. Thank you. I'm gonna take a picture and I'll and I'll see what what I can get. All right, we're getting closer. Thank you, sir. We are. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.